Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. We're going to start and end this lesson with a short quiz to see where you are before and where you are after. All right, let's get started. So which of these verbs is correct to use in these sentence? In these sentences, do we say economics is very important or do we say economics are very important? Okay, well, we say economics is very important. You'll understand why in a few minutes. The next one, the children is asleep or the children are asleep. Which one is correct? It should be the children are asleep. Okay, again, you'll understand why. Last one, the fish is very beautiful or the fish are very beautiful, which is correct? Well, that's a good question because actually both are correct. It depends if you're talking about one fish or whether you're talking about many fish. And you'll understand that also as soon as we go on. So we could say the fish is very beautiful. We could say the fish are very beautiful. I'll explain. So. In this lesson today, we're going to be talking about irregular plural nouns, which is an area which is, uh, which causes a lot of confusion for many students. Many grammar errors are because of this issue. So it's really good that you're watching so you won't make this kind of mistake. So let's look at what the problem areas are. The problem is that normally when we have a singular word, right? So if we say the chair, then we use a singular verb, right? The, the chair is. So that, when that happens, when we use the right noun with the right verb, then that's called subject verb agreement. The chair is in the room. But we say, if it's plural, the chairs are in the room, correct? So this was singular, singular, plural, plural. That's the normal way. And most of the time, that's absolutely fine. However, the reason why students get confused is because, unfortunately, in English, we also have irregular nouns, which don't follow those rules, and they follow separate rules. But you can understand it because we can group them in certain categories to help you understand them. So first of all, we have irregular singular nouns. So these are confusing a little bit because they end with S. but they are singular. They should be singular. So, for example, we say politics is. The news is good. Mathematics is difficult for some students. Ethics is very important in life. Okay? So, don't get fooled by the fact that there is an S there as part of the noun. Okay? It's still singular. So, there's one category of irregular singular nouns. Next one, irregular plural nouns. Here, there is no S, but it's plural. Ch children are, the mice are, my feet are hurting, the men are, the women are, my teeth are, the geese are, okay? So here, what was confusing is that there's no S, and yet, the answer is that it, the correct verb to use is that it's, uh, is are, right? It's the, is the plural verb. So that's the irregular plural nouns. And then last, we have a category which can be even more confusing, but luckily there's not too many examples in this category. And these are the irregular unchanging nouns. What does that mean? That means that whether you have one fish or two fish, you still say fish. Okay? Generally speaking, that's the, what you can keep in mind. The same with deer and sheep and moose. One moose, two moose. You're probably not very likely to talk so much about moose, but that's how it is. So if you say, if you're talking about one fish or one deer or one sheep or one moose, you can say the deer is very beautiful. But if you're talking about many deer, you can still say the deer are very beautiful. Okay? Depends if you're talking about one or more than one. So in this case, the noun is unchanging. So that's what causes a little bit of 
confusion in this category because you could use either one, but you still have to use the right one because if you're talking about more than one, you have to make sure you use the plural verb. If you're talking about one, you use one. You use the singular one. In a second, we'll do a really short quiz to see how well you've learned this. So let's do number one. Those fish is very colorful or those fish are very co colorful. Okay, now here it's a little bit confusing because I'm saying fish and if you remember correctly, fish was one of those categories which was unchanging, irregular unchanging. But there is a clue here to tell you which verb to use and that clue is here in the word those. Those by itself is a plural word. So we know that we're talking about many fish. And so if we're talking about many fish, the correct verb to use is are. Those fish are very colorful. If it said that fish, then we could say that fish is very colorful. Next one. My teeth is hurting or my teeth are hurting, which is correct. It should be my teeth are hurting. Okay, next. Physics is fascinating or physics are fascinating? Which is right. Physics is fascinating. The news is so shocking or the news are so shocking? Think about it. The news is so shocking. That deer is so graceful or that deer are so graceful. Okay, again you have an unchanging noun but you have a clue in the word that. That is singular. So we have to say that deer is so graceful. Next one. The women is outside or the women are outside, which is correct. It should be the women are outside. Okay. Now, if you didn't get all of these right, it means you need to practice some more. So please go to our website, www.ingvid.com. There you can do a quiz on this. Perhaps you could watch the lesson again and really master this area because these three categories, once you master them, you'll eliminate lots of mistakes that you might make in English grammar. Okay? Thanks very much for watching and good luck with your English.